Today I'll be showing how to make your character's footsteps respond to different surface types, complete with custom sounds and particle effects, all in under 5 minutes. This will be easy to add in your game, so follow along and let's get started. First, I'm going to create a new project, go to project settings and scroll down until you see physics, then search surface type. Here, type in the names of each surface type you plan on using in your game. To keep it simple for this tutorial, I will just create 4 surface types, but you can add as many as you like for your game. Next, you will either need to find or create your own sounds to use for the footsteps. Here are a couple solid options, both free and paid. Be sure to get at least 2-3 to three variations for each surface type you plan on using in your game to make it feel more realistic. Now that the project is set up, we're ready to begin implementing it into our game. First, make a new folder and name it something like Footsteps VFX. Drag your footstep sounds into the folder, then right click in the browser to search for sound cue. Duplicate this asset three times as we have four different surface types for this level. Rename each cue by surface type, then drag and drop your sounds in and connect the outputs into a random and modulator node for each surface cue. Let's assign physical materials to our surfaces. We're going to open our surface materials of choice and drag each onto a plane for testing purposes. Next, search for any pre-existing physical material asset in your project and duplicate it three times as we did for the sound cue and select the surface type and rename each material. Then, simply assign each physical material in the details panel of your surface accordingly. Next, locate your character's jog and jump animation sequence. Right click, add notify, name it something like AN footstep. And you're gonna put this notify for each time a footstep occurs in the animation. This will tell the game when to trigger the FX. Repeat this process for all relevant player animations. Next, open up the animation blueprint of your third person character. In this case, it's ABP Manny by default. Open the event graph, right click to create a new custom event, and select your newly made footstep notify. Then copy my code as follows. We're going to use a line trace by channel node to detect the physical material of the surface the player is stepping on and connect the execution pin. Next, get player character, get actor location, and out of the return value connected to the start of the line trace node. Drag out of the return again and type minus. Set the Z value to 150 so it detects the player's feet and connected to the end of the line trace node. Now we're going to drag out of the out hit, search get surface type, drag out again, then break hit results. Now let's add a branch and if true, add a switch on E physical surface node. For each surface in the switch, we're going to connect a play sound at location mode. Select the respective sound cue for each surface and connect the location to the location on the break hit node. Once all our sound nodes are laid out and connected, we can also spawn system at location. This will give us a visual effects based on what surface we're standing on. I recommend downloading this free asset to get particle effects for your game. For the location, we'll also connect this to the location on the break hit node. And that's it! You've created dynamic footsteps that adapt to the surface and even include sound and VFX for realism. If you found this helpful, please consider leaving a like and follow for more Unreal Engine 5 tutorials. Till next time, peace.